Allah. Now Allah is associated the reason for fighting them kufr. Those who don't believe in Allah in hereafter ila akhirih. Which means it is open. It is not that um, uh, they are go and fight them if they fight you. No. Allah says go and fight them if they don't believe in Allah and Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam in hereafter in, in so forth. Khalas. So this is the dalil. Dalil number four. وَقَاتِلُ الْمُشْرِكِينَ كَافَةً كَمَا يُقَاتِلُونَكُمْ كَافَةً Go and fight the mushrikeen. Every one of them, kafa, all of them, as they come and fight you, all of them. There is no that go and fight only those who fight you. Allah says kafa. You cannot say no, others are taken out of that. No, there is nothing like that. Verse number five. يَا أَيُّهَا الَّذِينَ آمَنُوا قَاتِلُوا الَّذِينَ يَلُونَكُمْ مِنَ الْكُفَارِ إِلَى آخِرِهِ Surah Tawbah 1, 3, 3. 1, 2, 3. In this Allah orders to go and fight them again. Verse number 6, or Dalil number 6. فَلَا تَهِنُوا وَتَدْعُوا إِلَى السَّلَمِ وَأَنْتُمُ الْعَلَوْنِ So, do not be weak and ask not for peace while you are having the upper hand. Meaning that peace only comes if you are not able to. But if you have the upper hand, you have to go and establish and stay and make sure establish the lane for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. From, uh, from amongst the Adilna evidences from Sunnah, Hadith of Ibn Umar radiallahu ta'ala anhu. Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he said, Umirtu wa nuqatila nas hatta yashhadu an la ilaha illallah wa anna muhammad rasulullah ila akhiri. Now Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he said, the reason here, Umirtu wa nuqatila nas, li ila ghayat al-Islam. I have been told to fight them till they submit themselves to Islam. It is not, I have been ordered to go and fight them till they don't fight us. Not that I have been ordered to fight them till there is no danger from them. No, till they become Muslims. This is it. So how can we go and push these meanings when this is what the Sahabas, they understood. So this is one of the first Adila from the, from the Sunnah. The other one is the hadith of Buraydah radiallahu ta'ala anhu. That whenever he sallallahu alayhi wa sallam would send an army, part of what he would say to them, Ugzu bismillah, fi sabilillah, qatilu man kafra billah. Go and fight in the name of Allah. For the sake of Allah, in the path of Allah, and fight everyone who is a kafir. Now, the reason being mentioned, al-kafru billah, isn't it? Now, the hadith of Abu Hurairah, when Ali radiallahu ta'ala anhu was appointed to fight in Gaza to Khaybar, he said, Ala madha uqatil in nasi ya On what basis am I supposed to fight them? You know what he said, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam? Qatiluhum hatta yashhadu anna ilaha lallah wa anna muhammad rasulullah. This is it, Ali. This is, this is it. Rasulullah said, you fight them on the basis to invite them to Islam. If they accept Islam, that's it. Otherwise you fight or they submit to al jizya Another hadith is the hadith of Ibn Umar radiallahu ta'ala anhu. Bu'istu bi sayfi hatta yu'bad Allah la sharika lah. That I have been sent, sent with a sword till Allah is only being worshipped and not beside him la akhari. This is another dalil for that. Now there are many other adillah. I think this really should give some form of highlight to us or open our minds to the truth. And Whatever has been given or associated, which I had mentioned quite four or five modules earlier when we started and I talked about Sufyan Asuri and others and those uh, um, letters being offered in postgraduate studies, such as by Najib al Amnazi and others in France, and they uh, mentioned, such as Sufyan Asuri, Rahimahullah, Ibrahim Nafi'i and others that they have uh, said that uh, there is no jihad of, of offensive jihad and things, of course, they misquoted it and they misled, misled people uh, on these issues. And there are so many similar evidences which they have produced, but it is all twisting defects. Wallahu al-Musta'an. And I have also said, al there are many scholars who have mentioned this, but I think in general, if we have taken it as such, this should be enough. And inshallah, uh, there are many scholars who have uh, said
said about jihad that there is jihad to taf'a and jihad to talab such as Shaykh bin Baz, rahimahullah, and others. So it is not something which I'm presenting here as an alien view. No, this is what the consensus of the scholars are. Ijma' consensus. It's not qawlu jumhur. It's not um, uh, something which is a majority view, but it is ijma' everyone's view. Wa jazakum khairan. وَمَا عَلَيْنَا إِلَّا الْبَلَاءِ